The need for strategic and intensive food processing as a panacea for hunger and food security has been explicated as a sure means to feed the nation to healthy and wealthy life. This was made known by Professor Shubola Faso Yiro of the Food Technology Department, Institute of Agriculture of Bafe Miaoloo University, Ileife, Nigeria, during her presentation of the 372nd inaugural lecture titled The Hidden Treasure in Plants for Food Security, Healthy and Wealthy Life. The lecture, which took place at the Odudua Hall, OAU, Ileife, on Tuesday, 13th June 2023, presented a significant milestone in her academic career, having in attendance dignitaries from all works of life. The Professor of Food Technology expressed her joy to the academic community for the opportunity to make known what she has discovered to reduce hunger, increase food processing, and explore the untapped treasures in the plants in our environment that many are unaware of. But it grants me the opportunity even to be able to present my research work to the world, especially the society. You know, like many people who want to really know about what I have done. You know, like many times when people talk about research, they don't know much about what we do. And this is an avenue for us to be able to present what we are really doing as research to the society. This is therefore a rare opportunity to tell people what we are doing in IARNT to reduce food insecurity in our nation and to help develop the economy from poverty to wealth, she said. The inaugural lecturer said the application of food science principles to food process, preserve and making food available, accessible and better utilized to play pivotal roles in the food science and technology in the sustainable development agenda that the world leaders have committed to eliminating poverty and hunger in the world. She added that the necessity of tapping into food science and technology will help to create sustainable wealth through food processing, which is the bedrock of poverty to job creation and income to food availability. She opined that by exploiting hidden treasures in plant through food processing will avail in abundance, nutrition, health and economic benefits for all. When we are talking about this topic, the hidden treasures in plants for food security, healthy and wealthy life, you will see that in the agenda, the sustainable development agenda goals, what it focuses now is how we want to reduce hunger, how we want to reduce poverty, how we want to help our community to grow. So you will find that many times we have some on tax treasures in plants that many people do not really know have the full information about. And this gives me the privilege to be able to allow people to know what we are doing at higher and especially to reduce the issue of food insecurity and hunger in the world and also to contribute our quota to encouraging people to develop even in the economy in Nigeria. Having researched in the past two decades focusing on post-harvesting processing of food crops, the erudite professor said the huge task ahead of feeding the ever-increasing population of Nigeria is a challenging issue. She therefore proposed that improving processing and utilization of food crops by improving the nutritional quality and value food products development for low-cost technology, natural food additive as preservatives, food safety, and so on. She stressed that if the resources are well-designed and executed using sustainable food science and technology, then to food insecurity, hunger and poverty can easily be addressed. Professor Faso Yuro also advocated for funding to promote utilization of products from underutilized legumes growing in Nigeria for addressing protein energy malnutrition. She also advocates for farm to food processing centers for especially maize and cassava value chains to minimize post harvest losses, aid value addition, enhance productivity for farmers and processors, and create job in agripreneurship for youth. She also advocates for sustainable food safety and surveillance policy to govern street vended foods in reducing food hazards and the health risks. She used the opportunity, therefore, to call on funding agencies to support youth empowerment in entrepreneurship 
to reduce rate of immigration of the youth from the country as future workforce. She also emphasized the importance of good working conditions and state-of-art facilities in the Nigerian public universities and research institutions for quality delivery and reducing brain drain. She also encouraged collaboration among universities, research institutions and the industries. The food technologist also lamented the issue of Nigerian youth, saying schooling is a scam and advocates that school curriculum should encourage more of practical approaches to teaching, teachers acting more as facilitators in helping students in self-discovery, engagement in critical and creative thinking, in contributing purposefully as graduates, as change agents to the society and to its growth. She emphasized the importance of good mentoring programs and exchange programs. The inaugural lecturer, while harping on the challenging threat of food security, also used the auspicious occasion to appreciate the vice chancellor of the Obafemi Awolowo University, the principal staff officers and dignitaries present. Vice chancellor, the deputy vice chancellor academic, the deputy vice chancellor administration, the Registrar, all the principal officers of the university, deans, directors, head of departments and programs, administrative and technical staff, friends of the university, great OAU students, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our hearts. I would like to appreciate the Lord God Almighty, the Alpha and the Omega, the merciful, the gracious, my helper and the powerful one and glorious, who have been good to me over the years to him be all the glory. She made a loud call to the academic community, policymakers, and all stakeholders to use her first hand innovative research as an opportunity to look critically into quality food production so as to forestall the looming danger of hunger and its attendant consequences. She stressed that small scale enterprises and industrialization are ways to drive the economy from poverty to growth that the government needs to seek ways to reduce inflation rate, increase value of the Naira and security in the country to encourage local and foreign investors. Vice Chancellor of Obafe Miawolowo University, Professor Adebayo Bamire, commended the lecture as a distinct one, describing it as rewarding and pointing to where the nation should be focused to resolve the growing trend of hunger in the land. I want to say that most of the lectures, inaugural lectures that have been presented in university are superb and excellent. And we have not been disappointed in any way by any of the lectures we presented. So this is one of them, showcasing a professional uh, entity, you know, and we really appreciate God for it. Uh, she's done well, and uh, we just wish her all the best with this lecture. Uh, I haven't trained a lot of people, I haven't mentored a lot of people, replicating what was done for her, because she was also mentored. In this so we just want to thank God that she was able to achieve what we expected of her. Among the notable dignitaries that graced the occasion were Professor Kende Taiwo of the Department of Food Engineering, OAU, Professor Latif Taiwo of the Department of Soil Microbiology, OAU, Professor Veronica Obatolo, Executive Director, IARNT, Reverend Dr. Shukbo Ayokunle, Professor Adekoya Olatunde, Provost, Federal College of Animal Health and Production Technology, Moor Plantation, Ibadan. Professor Aki Adesenwa of the Department of Animal Science and Production System, OAU, 
Professor Ayuade Ogunkunle and engineer Olushino Fasoiro, husband of the inaugural lecturer, and so on. Also, staff and students of the Obafemi Aolo University, Ileife, were present at the occasion. Erudite Professor Shubola Fasoiro is a professor of food science at the Institute of Agricultural Research and Training, Obafemi Aolo University, Ibadan, Nigeria. In her pursuit to add to knowledge, she has presented scholarly articles on proximate minerals and anti-nutritional factors of some underutilized grain legumes in southwestern Nigeria, minerals and anti-nutritional factors of some underutilized grain legumes in southwestern Nigeria, chemical and storability of fruit-flavored hibiscus sabdarifa drinks, chemical composition and sensory quality of fruit-flavored rosal drinks, among many notable research works. She's a member of the Nigerian Institute of Food Science and Technology and International Food Technology. Her inaugural research work focused on food processing, food preservation, and food safety. Ready to go.